Things are changing in the river market and we are very excited about that, about this new opportunity. As Little Rock's river market becomes a designated entertainment district later this month, there are many things you can expect. But let's start with what you shouldn't. I think a lot of people, when they heard entertainment district in the river market, their minds immediately went to a Bill Street and some of them went to a Bourbon Street and that is absolutely not what this is going to be like. Diana Long, director of River Market Operations, says those wishing to stroll downtown with an adult beverage in hand must follow a set of rules and stay within a particular area of the River Market. The entertainment district starts at the Interstate 30 bridge and extends several blocks down President Clinton Avenue to include bars, restaurants and retailers all the way to Cumberland Street. The zone also includes St. Vincent's Plaza and both pavilions behind River Market Hall. Starting August 23rd, permitted establishments that choose to participate will be able to serve alcoholic beverages in a to-go cup. Those reusable plastic cups will be standard throughout the district and cost the customer a dollar. Anywhere in that area, if you want to have your drink with you on the street, you can, but it has to be a drink that you have purchased along with the cup and wristband in an authorized place. With two weeks left to prepare, the Convention and Visitors Bureau, Downtown Partnership and Neighborhood Association continue to iron out details, including exactly which businesses plan to participate. I think once the novelty kind of wears off of it a little bit for the locals that it's just going to feel like any other night, you're just going to see some people with some clear cups with red logos on them and a wristband here and there. You can expect to see banners and sidewalk decals, decals going up soon. They'll help people understand the rules and clearly outline the zone where their cups are allowed. The Convention and Visitors Bureau will soon have an area on its website explaining how everything works too. So I have a question for you, Michael. What if you want to take a drink inside a store? Right, Ooh, so it just is, it's kind of up to the business owner. So if they're within that area and they want to participate and let people bring in their drinks, let's say like one of the galleries down mm -hmm. there or uh, any of those places, they have the opportunity to let you bring that in, but it is up to their their discretion yeah. and again the uh, the bars and restaurants they'll participate if they want to as well not uh, everyone is expected mm -hmm. to participate but it sounds like most of those uh, bars and restaurants downtown yeah. or in that river market area will and it might take some time to just yeah. for them to yeah. see how this whole thing mm -hmm. works and Absolutely. realize it's hard to believe that we've been talking about this it's always like been mentioned in mm -hmm. the last couple of years but now it's a reality we're yep. very close to it happening Absolutely. we are